what's up guys, it's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD with a long awaited tutorial and the first of 2010. With a fresh start to the new year, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a screensaver I showed off a bit in a good portion of my late 2009 videos. It's called the Kelly's Matrix Screensaver. Hopefully it looks familiar to you. It's one of the more popular screensavers in the tech community. You might have seen me or Chris Perillo or a number of other YouTubers rocking this one. Today I'll be showing you not only how to get it, but I'll be giving you a full walkthrough of the feature set of this program. So if you're interested, stay tuned. We've got a lot to cover. Here we go. So to make finding this as quick and easy as possible, you can find the screensaver by visiting any major search engine, maybe Google, and typing in Matrix Screensaver with an X. It'll be the first link. This will take you to the Kelly Software website, the hub of all things centered around the screensaver. And to get and download the installer, scroll about halfway down past all the information on the page until you find your OS version's installer. The installation process is surprisingly really, really simple. It'll install everything into your registry, go ahead and give you all the options for the screensaver without you doing a thing. So this is what it's going to look like once you've finished downloading that screensaver. Once you've run through the installer, all you have to do is get to your screensavers menu somewhere in whatever operating system you're using, and you should find the matrix screensaver waiting for you there. From here, I'm just going to show you guys all the options and things that you can do with this screensaver. So across the top, you can obviously see all the awesome things that you can do with this screensaver. You know, you can change the color, you can have it uh, create a little logo with the matrix effect. Now, I haven't actually used all these features in the background of my videos, but I do plan on doing that more often, I guess, uh, to, to, you know, get attention. Uh, but, you know, it does look really cool um, adding in, I guess, a logo. If you have a red logo and the red effect uh, on the screensaver, it does look really good. So once you guys have finished around with playing, uh, playing around with the settings in the screensaver, go ahead and hit Save Changes, and it'll save everything you've made changes to in the screensaver program. And once you've saved that, you can go back to the Windows Manager, hit Apply, and hit OK, and you should be all good with that. So that is basically it for the Matrix Screensaver. I hope you guys enjoyed this HD tutorial, and there will be a lot more where that came from, a lot of tutorials coming up, and I'll definitely be showing you guys as much as I can in the tech world in HD. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.